up nerds it's massage den time for another speed paint but i'm gonna continue my new formula of talking while you watch the speed paint because apparently that's what people want they want to hear me talk which is a little weird but you know you do you whatever keeps you here and subscribed and liking videos and comment and shit so whatever um this is gonna be a bit of a companion to my introductory video last week well, it wasn't even last week it was like more like a probably a month ago now but instead of talking about where I got my name from I'm just gonna talk about stuff I like so let's get this one out the way favorite youtuber I don't want to play favorites because next week there's a chance the person I name will make a complete ass of themselves and then I'll have to either defend their decisions or say I don't watch them anymore yeah my sub list is public and if you want to take a look at it go right ahead but I'm not giving anybody a shout out plus I'm not big enough to do shout outs just know that my watch list is all over the place I watch drama channels art channels comic reviews storytellers but most of them are other artists and then there's like a select few that might be just on the cusp of not being safe for work so explore at your own you know discretion favorite artists again just look through my follows on instagram or deviantart or whatever i never remember names especially screen names because they can change all the time now so uh yeah just look through my favorites and stuff like that to see what kind of art that I like but again that's all over the place so good luck pinning it down I get this question a lot but a lot of people want to know what inspires me and influences my work the short answer is anime cartoons comics video games and that pretty girl that lives in my mirror the long answer is okay number one anime duh look at how big I draw eyes the crazy colors I pick for hair and how the main character of both my comics is one transformation sequence away from being a magical girl the first anime I ever saw was Sailor Moon even though I didn't realize it was an anime or I just didn't care it used to come on UPN when I was like 10 years old then it moved to Toonami with Dragon Ball Z and for about 10 years Toonami was my god. Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball Z, Ronin Warriors, Cardcraptor Shakira, Zoids, both versions, both versions of Zoids because there's two different versions of Zoids. The Gundams, oh so many Gundams. My favorite Gundam is Gundam Wing because I like pretty boys plus I was their age when it aired so it was less creepy when I said I like pretty boys. Toonami also had a really, like, really great American cartoons like uh, The Real Adventures of Johnny Quest. For a while, they had Batman the Animated Series. And Batman the Animated Series is up there on my god tier list of American cartoons, along with Gargoyles, Pepper Ann, Batman Beyond, and Static Shock. And if you don't know what any of those are, get the fudge out. No, I'm kidding. Just go Google them and watch every episode because their characters, plots, and style are far superior to anything out right now. You can fight me on that one. Cartoons nowadays, all they do is sit around and cry to each other. Like, can you fight? Like, can you do something other than sit around and talk about your damn emotions? Like, yeah, no. Fight me on that one. Cartoons in the 90s? Great. Early 2000s? Great. Cartoons now? Suck. Fight me. Okay? Like, just fight me on that one as for comics i love anything with nightcrawler in it well okay i don't want to say anything i love nightcrawler but this new stuff where he has like the hipster beard and he's somehow in two different places at once i'm i'm not in love with that and it's like seriously the x-men color squad comic books are so meh they're like three mehs in a row like they're so boring uh i also love nightwing pre-52 anything after 52 new 52 rebirth i have not read and i have no desire to because i already know they ruined my perfect boy and he goes by rick now for some reason oh he got shot in the head and it's a whole thing but he goes by rick now just kill him just have the balls to kill him dc like just don't wrap him in a piece of shit and call it rick like just kill him you cowards like ugh. I digress. I also love Saga, Sex Criminals, Chu, and Young Avengers. Speaking of comics, I also love manga 
and I have a whole ass collection of ones I read in high school, but I can't reread them because my cynical, nihilistic ass will just roll my eyes at how lovey-dovey they all are. But it's thanks to manga like Mars, Paradise Kiss, Real Bond High School, Fake, Battle Angel Alita, and various stuff by Clamp are where I draw all my romance inspiration from. Because I do, like, apparently I write nothing but rom-coms. I find it incredibly ironic. <laughs> as far as video games, I'm far from selling my bath water to nerds, but my go-to is Tekken. I've played them all, and if you pick Paul or Law, you are a cheating ass bitch, okay? Don't pick Paul or Law in Tekken, because that means you're just gonna mash all the buttons, and you're a cheating ass bitch that don't play to, like, fight for real, you piece of crap. I also love Jack and Daxter, the trilogy, and the racing game. And I know I said the trilogy, and you can fight me on that, too. No, really, mention Lost Frontier to me, Brad. I dare you. Like, Lost Frontier, you shut up. Jack and Daxter is a trilogy. Deal with it. My favorite video game of all time has to be Final Fantasy VII. Because it's the best one. And, again, me catch me outside and fight me about it. Final Fantasy VII is the best Final Fantasy. Even though, to this day, I have not beat Sifrith. Sifroth, it it's still the best game I've ever played in my life. Yes, I know they're remaking it. No, I cannot contain my excitement. I so want to see that one wing freak turn me into a frog in HD. That is the like I I am saving up for a PlayStation 4 just so I could see that scene in HD where this bastard turns me into a frog and I'm just kind of like just I I fall in hate all over with him again. Just yeah, it's no surprise that I like uh, magical girls, but I'm super particular about them. I don't watch any anime with a magic girl because, oh my god, who has the time for that? There are so many. However, I am oddly obsessed with Witch, Lolly Rock, Ever After High, Avatar The Last Airbender, and Winx Club. And yeah, yeah, I did say Winx Club, and I know how old I am. Thank you. And before you ask... Flora is the best fairy, Brandon is the best specialist, Lockett is the best pixie, Stormy is the best trix, Valtor is the best villain, the magical animals are crap, and Enchantix is the best transformation for the song alone. It's powerful, it's magical, it's wonderful. Dimensions, incredible pigeon, incredible power, winks, Enchantix! You can also fight me about that. My video on why Winx is great is coming soon. Actually, it's probably going to be all about Brandon and what they did to his design in Season 8. Here's a preview. I hate it. It looks like crap. Like, go... No, no to his design in Season 8. As for what my favorite things are at the moment, this year I fell all the way in love with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, which is partially why my eyelashes are so dramatic in this port. Like, just, I've gone crazy with the dramatic eyelashes everywhere. So yeah, I'm all in love with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure because of, one, all the musical references that, that are just, they pop up and they're funny. Two... Most of the characters are based off of Prince because Araki Hirohiko is a huge Prince fan and anybody who knows me knows that I legit have a Prince shrine in my room right now. And just three, it's <laughs> it's great because Josuke is just my sunshine boy and he's perfect and he deserves love and I, I'll say this in every video if I have to, Josuke is the whole reason I started watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and it's great. In fact, I've been watching them out of order. I think I watched part four first, and then I went back to three, and then part five came out, so I started watching that, but then while I was waiting on, uh, waiting around for episodes of that to premiere, I went back and finished part three, and now, after, now that I'm done with part three, I'm going to go back and watch part two. Part one, I might watch just like the summary videos because I, I don't care about Jonathan or whatever the fuck his name is. Like, who cares? That's too much. All right. So as for hobbies, I like as for hobbies I have other than like drawing and writing, I love horticulture. I mean, like, yeah, I know a lot of people are like, Ugh. so you have a house plan. It's like, no, I mean, like right now I have an African violet, a philodendron, a purple raffle, 
uh, a marble queen, three bamboo stalks, a common fern that I call Janet, and a, um, there was another one. Oh, my, my Peperomia, who's on his last legs. And, uh, yeah, that's just in my room alone. Those all, all those plants are in my room. So that's how much I love horticulture. I can't remember the names of all of my plants outside, but they include azaleas and hybrid teacup roses. I also sew, make jewelry, bake, and attempt nail art. All that shit is super girly, but surprise, surprise, I'm a female. Shocking, I know. I want to get more into carpentry and doll customizations, but for now, I just don't have the time for those projects. Like maybe after I'm done with Red and Illegal Tender, I can get into doll customizations and more sewing. Um, yeah, as for what I actually do, I make a comic about super superpowered bartenders that's pretty damn funny. Like, people think it's funny. I sit there and reread it and laugh about it at conventions, looking like a huge dork, laughing at my own, my, my own comic book. But hey, that just goes to show, like, it actually is funny. Uh, the first six issues are available now in Happy Hour. Get your copy today in my store. There's a link in the description. My second comic book, Red, is currently in production. And to see random art and updates for it, you can follow my Twitter or Instagram. Uh, production of it is growing very slow because I am the only person working on these comic books. And I'm very proud of that because, you know, it's a lot of hard work. But I don't feel like sitting around waiting for somebody else to do their job so I can do mine. So I will suffer in silence. That's it for this week's video. Please like and subscribe if you thought it was cool. You can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, DeviantArt, subscribe here, Tumblr, or Wattpad to see more of my work. Because I'm Massage Den here, there, and everywhere. Thanks for watching.